everyone. This is Andy from Reclaim Men's Clinic. Um, we're here today with Roger. We're going to give him an IV immunity boost. Um, he started with upper respiratory symptoms yesterday. Um, cough, stuffiness, runny nose, typical symptoms of uh, upper respiratory infection. So we're going to see if we can get ahead of this by boosting his immunity. So we're going to give him an IV today that's packed with vitamin B complex, vitamin C has things like zinc, and uh, glutathione in it. So um, we're gonna get started on his IV and then we'll talk a little bit about um, how he's feeling with it. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. All right, good job. We're almost ready there. So we've got the IV started here. We'll put a little flush on here call it J-loop, and then from that we will hook up the IV. Does it feel okay? It's fine. Yeah. Good. Looks great. So let's just secure this down with a little bit of tape, and then we will get the IV line going. Let's get this covered. Put a little bit of wrap around here to keep it secure. We only want to use just a little bit of tape because it's uncomfortable for people, but uh, this coban works amazing to, uh, to secure the IV for us. So since this IV has started, we'll go ahead and hook up the line here. And we'll turn it on. And I always tell people before I start the IV, and he's had one before, so he knows what to expect. But whenever you have an IV vitamin drip, um, about uh, 30 seconds to a minute into the drip, um, you may taste vitamins or what the smell of vitamins are like. And that's a typical um, uh, reaction that people have. So, and it goes away within a couple of minutes. So it's totally tolerable. Okay, we've got the IV going. Let's go ahead and secure this line. Perfect. All right. So, does that feel comfortable? That's great. Okay, yeah. yeah, good. And can you feel the IV infusing yet? All right. Okay. So, going well now. Uh, just let us know when you start to taste those vitamins. Um, it should um, it should come on pretty soon. I taste them. Did you taste them? Okay, great. Well, that's uh, normal. Um, and again, that, that taste uh, goes away pretty quickly. So um, we'll let Roger's IV infuse and drip a little bit here, and uh, we'll check back on him and see how he's doing with it. All right, we're gonna check back with Roger. His IV is completed, and um, he's already had his glutathione push. So I'm just gonna take his IV out and uh, wrap his arm with some Coban. He can take this dressing off in about an hour. Um, there won't be any tape on there, so no worries about pulling any hair. So the Coban is much more comfortable. And then we'll check back with Roger um, in a couple of days and see how his symptoms are doing. Hi everyone, thanks for sticking around. This is a follow-up to the video that we started yesterday. So we did the um, immunity boost IV on Roger. So a little bit of background, Roger started with some upper respiratory symptoms a few days ago uh, with head fullness, coughing, um, runny nose, um, sinus pressure. And so um, he has a history of chronic sinus issues. And in the past, when he's let symptoms go too long, they've often developed into acute sinusitis, uh, bacterial sinusitis, and of course that required an antibiotic to cure it. So we wanted to get ahead of the game and see if we could avoid needing antibiotics this time. So I checked with him today and he's feeling 80% better. He has less, less head congestion, um, less coughing, um, and less facial pressure. So those are all really good signs. Um, the IV Immunity Boost contains things like magnesium and calcium and selenium and a bunch of B-complex vitamins and vitamin C and zinc and glutathione. But in addition to those ingredients, I also added dexamethasone IV push. So dexamethasone is a steroid. Because he had such 
um, swelling, head pressure and sinus pressure, um, I decided to add some dexamethasone to it. And um, again, today he's feeling so much better and uh, less malaise, definitely more energetic. Um, just to back up a bit about starting an IV, I forgot to mention this earlier in the video, but when, before I start an IV, I put topical numbing medicine on the potential IV site. Let that sit for about five minutes until it's really numb and then um, start the IV. So it's essentially painless. Uh, a lot of people don't even feel the stick. They feel the pressure, but no pain. Um, and then we start the infusion, which takes about uh, 35 to 45 minutes, depends um, how well one tolerates the infusion. Um, most people tolerate without any problems. Of course, a lot of people develop that taste or that uh, the sensation of tasting vitamins in their mouth um, after the IV starts, but that goes away pretty quickly and doesn't, doesn't stick around. So in addition to the immunity boost, we also have um, one called the Fountain of Youth, which has things like magnesium and calcium and all the other ingredients that I mentioned before, but also has biotin and zinc in it, which are amazing for strengthening um, skin, hair, and nails. Um, there's one called the um, Migraine Headache Relief IV. There's one called the Hangover, which if you were overserved the night before, that one works really well for relieving symptoms and getting you hydrated again. Um, we have one called, there's of course the classic Myers cocktail, and then there's one called the Athlete Reclaimed. Uh, so I developed that one. It's packed with uh, a bunch of amino acids. Um, really great for people that work out um, intensely um, that need to replenish uh, vitamins and minerals. So if you have any questions about IV infusions, I'm happy to talk to you about them. Feel free to call the clinic at 314-310-2068 um, or contact us um, via our website, which is reclaimmensclinic.com, um, or you can go there to book your appointment. So um, be well, everyone, and have a wonderful day.